Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year's. Today I will be reviewing a tarot card app from the Play Store. I actually will be reviewing a few. This one is called the Mysterious Tarot. It's a free audible tarot reading app. I mean, I read my own cards, but I have a few friends that asked me to recommend a good tarot reading app as they don't know how to read tarot cards. And quite honestly, they really don't want to learn. <laughs> so I decided to have a little fun and try out some tarot apps for them. So, first of all, <laughs> there are so many to choose from out there. There are a ton. Sifting through them, my God. Um, but what I did first was I clicked on the app that I was interested in. And I read the reviews first. I didn't want to waste my time on bad apps. So anyways, uh, let's get started. We're going to click around and see what it looks like. So this one I put on my phone. Um, the other tarot apps are on my tablet. And if you haven't seen my review um, on the Moto, um, the Moto G with the stylus, the stylus pen, uh, you can go check that out as well. So here we go. This is um, when I first opened the app. It says Mysterious Tarot, as you can see. Right now I have 20 coins, okay, and if you can't see, I don't know if you could see all that or not, because it looks blurry in my camera, in my uh, other phone I'm using, but it says tarot cards, quote of the day, card of the day, and save spreads, and right here it says new reading, but if you come up here and click the three lines, it's going to tell you your user account, settings, inbox, tarot encyclopedia, watch a video, and win five coins, subscribe, buy tarot gold coins, frequently asked questions, share the app, rate the app, about the app, uh, opinions and suggestions, terms of service, and privacy policy. So... Then if you click the Tarot Encyclopedia, um, it says, what is tarot, tarot cards, symbols, numbers, colors, spreads. Um, so if we go here, we can choose on the tarot spread. We can choose single card, yes or no, decision spread, Full spread, cross spread, um, three card spread, Celtic cross spread, way spread, relationship spread, and blind spot spread. So we like clicked on a three card spread. It's just your past, present, and uh, future. Okay? It tells you everything you need to know right here. These cards are actually very informative. If you had your own deck and you were trying to learn and instead of looking in a book and looking you know for each page you know each card you could actually just use this because um, I think the description of the cards is pretty good so anyway you have one two three okay your past your present and your future Okay. So you can do that one or pick it. Now we got rid of that menu and we're back to the main page. And we could get a real tarot card reader. Or artificial intelligence well obviously I'm pretty sure the real ones gonna cost us money so of course we're gonna pick the artificial one all right 
So, how will you get a tarot reading? It tells you what to do and everything like that. So, you just hit OK. Now, I have 20 coins. Can you see that? Seems like it's blurry to me when I'm looking at it. I hope it's not blurry for you guys. Alright, so. I think I'm just going to spend one coin and select one card. So my one card, what should I do and how should I behave nowadays? So that's, now I always like to shovel. Shovel, wow. <laughs> shovel. Shuffle extra. Okay, because it lets you. See, it says shuffle. It'll let you do that. All right. Now, see, if you were going to use your own deck, you can click that, but we're not. We're using this one. So I'm going to just pick one. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Up. Go to my card. See that? Go to my card. All right. We're not going to show that again. Okay. So I have the Page of Cups. All right, so my, how would you put it, artificial tarot card reader lady right there, Sarah, my artificial tarot card reading lady, says, Good afternoon, Bonnie. I hope your day passed well before lunch. I wish the rest of the... I'm sorry. I wish the rest of the day is going to pass well. I will interpret your tarot card now. It's funny because I'm reading and I'm looking at my clock and it says it's uh, five minutes to two. <laughs> All right, so it said... I see that nowadays you've been taking yourself far too seriously and from now on childlike side of yourself to come forward. You have a need to play, to dream, to have a little fun. Your heart is open to love and messages from your higher self. You can be emotional, needy, and unfulfilled. Bonnie, I wish you have a nice and pleasant times nowadays no matter how this tarot reading is. See, I'm not reading this wrong. I wish you have a nice and pleasant times nowadays. That's exactly what it says. Okay, so I didn't misread it. It just sounds odd. All right, so what do I think about this single card? Well, let me see. Sometimes I do take myself very seriously. Um far too seriously and uh, from now on childlike side of yourself to come forward that sentence I, I can understand what the sentence means but the way it's um, phrased is a little bit odd so my childlike side well yeah I am serious but my my, my childlike side does come out when I um, play with my grandkids or my cat if that makes any sense. Um, your heart is open to love and messages from your higher self. Well, okay. Um, I don't care about love. I mean, my family, yes, but I'm not looking to be in love with anybody. But higher messages from myself, yes, because I do meditate. And actually, I was meditating last night before I went to sleep trying to get answers to certain um questions for the coming new year um, not about me about everything in general that's going on in our world right now so you can be emotionally needy 
and I'm fulfilled. I am not emotionally needy, I'd like to say that. And I am totally fulfilled. But that's just the one card. But I wanted to analyze it a little bit. So let's go back home. And you will get pop-ups, guys. Okay, you will. You just got to close that. I now have 19 coins left. Now, if I remember, I said that, um, I could watch videos and get extra coins. I have not run out of coins yet, um, but I haven't played with the app uh, consistently. So, now we can click on tarot cards. And it brings us to the Major Arcania, which are 22 cards. And you click on them and they give you click on them and they give you a total description of the card. I hope you can see that. Because it looks blurry to me, but so let's um let's just pick the fool, which is the first card of the major arcania. Here he is, little carefree fool with his little dog. And the element for that is air. The astrological equivalent is Uranus. And the timing is between January 21st and February 20th. Keywords, important decisions, innocence, carefree, foolish, new beginnings, optimistic, and spontaneity. And the advice of the card, approach chances ahead of you with optimism. Set off for a journey with light baggage. And then it gives you the general interpretation of the card. And the numerical equivalent is zero because it's the first card. But if, like, also... Um, because it's the um, beginning of the journey for the fool. So if we click on the dog, because if you see here, it says the symbols on the card. Okay. So you have dog, mountain, rose, staff, and sun. So let's click on the dog, and it will tell us what the symbol of the dog means. Okay. It will explain to us the symbol meaning of the dog. I'm not going to read all that to you. But. And then associated tarot cards. And go back. And we could click on another one, like for the mountains. And again, it will tell us about the symbolism of the mountain and the associated cards that have mountains in them. Okay. And let's see, we have the rose. So it's going to tell us the symbolism of the rose. And associated cards with that. All right. Now, the color of the card is important as well. You have red, brown, yellow, green, blue, and white. So let's click on yellow. You dirty bastard. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. That's my that's my notifications. Uh, my text messaging. Sorry about that. Even if I turn the volume down on the phone itself, uh still comes up and I don't like to shut off my notification so sorry all right so it'll give us it'll uh, tell us about what the yellow means on the card okay and it will also tell us what it means in the positive and the negative meaning positive is upright of the card 
in negative is downwards of the card. Okay? Okay. So like I said, uh, and there's another ad. I'm going to click out. And then they have the wands. Suit of wands. Suit of swords. Cups. And pentacles. Now, also I want to mention, right here, it gives you an idea about the overall suit, alright, so Pentacles is coming or going, Pentacles means you should be paying attention to your financial situation and planning ahead. Cups, when you see cups in your spread, it means you will need to let your intuition guide you and remain compassionate above all else. Swords. Magnemonious. If you are seeing swords, get ready to rock the boat. You're about to throw off the oppressive forces in your life. Wands. Carving your personal path in life. Love and career. A reading full of wands tells you that humble but truly rewarding work is the key. Like I said, we could just like click on, well, let's go with the two of wands here, okay? The element is fire. The astrological equivalent is Mars and Aries. Oops, sorry. Um, timing is March 30th, 21st to the 30th, and the keyword Game, future, planning, goals, discovery, partnership, achievement, anxiety, progress, and decisions. The advice of the card. You have the power to choose now, estimate, and the perspective, and then the general meaning of the card. And it's card number two of the wands. And here again, we have the symbols, and we can click on those. And they'll tell us about the symbols in this card as well as the colors. Okay? So, and there again is another app, or app, sorry, another ad. But, you know what, guys? And there we are. Back to our original page. You know what, guys? Ads are what keep the app free. I'm pretty sure this said something about you can oh yeah, buy coins and stuff like that. So anyway, my overall opinion of this app, I like it very much. Um, it's handy to have on your phone. It's fun. The cards are um, very informative. I have yet to actually have fun with it with my own deck of cards, which I will get around to doing. But if I was going, you know, recommend um, an app to you guys, then uh, this would be the app. Definitely. So if you're interested in this app, you can actually go find it. The Mysterious Tarot. Just type that in the search box uh, at the Play Store. And... You can download it. You can read the reviews first if you want. Um, but I think it's a pretty good app. And every time I've used it so far, it has not misbehaved or anything. And I like it. Um, did I, and did I also mention you can save your spreads? I don't know if I mentioned that. But anyways, yep, I think it's a good app. And I would definitely recommend it, guys. So leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. And everybody have a great day and a great New Year's. Thanks. Bye.